So, let's just go through this. Right, here's the vacation. The last month's April and May roadmap. We go first looking at what you could expect from May's major update. In that article, we discussed the approach to mounting player progression feedback. <gasps> to find the current release, the timing, and more in the end game content. Is the Vault and Legion raid of the Duskalude Guardian raid? After closely monitoring alongside Smargo RPG, we feel that enough of our player base have reached that the item level needs to participate or with, within easily striking distance <gasps> to get over there the next few weeks. And have decided that the right time of the activities oh good 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 it's never our goal to like make players feel like they need to pay to progress players that haven't reached the item level required to participate shouldn't feel pressured do it at your own pace new players eager to hear participate in game activities we hope the express event and extended yeah and the extension of the guardian rate until the 19th of may will help you to progress okay so 19th um fast mechanics of the game let's go as existing fans of the start will know there are still many new activity challenges, enemies, etc. You to be the least uh, release, and we can't wait to bring more experience to our Christia. Literally fair. Okay, okay. So, Legion Raid, Volton, normal and hard confirmed. Okay, normal, because I get this all the time. But is hard mode confirmed? Is hard mode coming? Yes, hard mode is coming out. Volton will introduce the first Legion Raid into the Western release in Lost Ark. Legion Raids are difficult team based activities that require teamwork to understand and execute the strategy necessary to counter each Legion Raid counter's <gasps> commander's unique characteristics, ability, and mechanics. As Legion Raids are challenging and take time, there are gates or checkpoints that will save the player's progress as they advance um, through the raid. Volton is an eight player Legion raid, has two gates, and introduces a what the fuck is this word? Swath of, of new mechanics. Is that how you say that? I don't fucking know. The players will need to be item level 1415 to attempt the normal difficulty, 1445 for hard. The Volton Legion raid will also introduce a new rarity of gear. Relic confirmed. Oh, <laughs> so I'm just wondering what you said. Um, Relic gear will be crafted in materials. Um, yeah, so relic gear can be crafted materials only in the raid. It will provide a more impactful armor and weapon bonuses alongside bigger stat bonuses. Okay, interesting, actually. Right? So we get the relic stuff. I thought they meant like relic accessories. So relic gear can be crafted from materials only in the raid. So we know this anyway, that you can craft relic armor from Vaulted, but you do it from Vaulted and Vikus. You grab materials from both. I wonder if they're changing it and giving us Vaulted. And giving us because they they changed the argos gear they might change it i don't know we might not have to do both we might we might just be able to craft it from volton and i don't know what vikus is going to give us i don't know we'll see what happens provides more impactful armor weapon bonuses alongside bigger stat bonuses um and more engraving nodes on accessories so we'll see, we'll see what happens it might just be the same and they've just worded this funny descaluda 14 15 yep descaluda gives you um Relic accessories is great. I'm not going to read through that. Destroyer. Dude, nothing about this is the Warhammer Destroyer. Again, I'm not going to read through this. I'll leave you on tail. Destroy them. Massive damage. Destroyer will join the Berserk. Okay, okay. Challenge Guardian Raids. This, I can't wait for this as well. Challenge Guardian Raids will be added. A new weekly activity players will look for each, each week. Each week players can attempt free challenge guardians every guardian has their own required item level to enter and each week one of the guardians will rotate out replaced by a different one differing from normal guardian range challenges these will have this these is harmonized scalar balance so it's harmonized right um and you'll be adjusted you, um you cannot use the battle workshop the battle workshop is the little circle that you stand in to put pots on and change your skills you have to be set up before you go in if you go in with your chaos that you build on you're in with your chaos dungeon build. You can leave and come out, but I think you've got to wait the first the three minutes like you do with normal Guardian Raid stuff. Um, rewards for the challenge can be attained once per roster per week and offer more diverse rewards than normal Guardian Raids. They're good. They're good. You don't you do it once per roster per week. Um, it's good fun. It's good fun. New quests. <laughs> Big fucking chicken. Okay, Salvan activities. Chaos line hard mode, good. Thunder wings field boss. This is the 1460 world boss. It's a big dragon. It's in Southern. Obviously, it says here drops relic accessories. It's not that difficult. Uh, it's not as hard as Moak. It's way more predictable. So everyone's going to be rushing there for extra accessories. Going to kick that dragon's ass. You are going to kick that dragon's ass. The Southern Chaos Gate. Southern Ghost Ship, and the Southern Chaos Dungeons will all be. Oh, okay. Perfect. So they're all coming in. That's really good. So you should then have the 1445 
Chaos Dungeon, which gives you uh, a chance for Relic Accessories to drop as well. Cool. Um, the Wild Wings Island. What what I level to tag and get credit on the 1460 raid boss? Uh, you just you just go up and I think you just got to hit. You can do it at, at like any level. It's going to be the same as what happened with Moak, right? Everyone's just going to go there and zerg the boss until it dies. But the thing is, there are people, there are 1460 that will be able to actually hit it. But as I said, it's not as hard. Like, Moak is shit everywhere. There's color everywhere. You can hardly see what's going on. Fucking ridiculous AoEs and lasers and shit everywhere, right? Moak is crazy. This guy's got like whirlwinds that swirl around. He's got obvious like up and down attack things. It's, it's way, it's way easier. Moak is a menace um thunder wings is way easier right you're still gonna die you're gonna get hit quite out whatever right but it's fine it's nothing like my work um so seeking revenge so what's this wild wings island okay so new island okay so you a married and menacing and sometimes less menacing for seekers Re seeking revenge for eating their friends and family crispy hello oh this is neat so i thought it was uh, the missus shouted then um yeah it came through the microphone really loud that's right um chicken the planning um to raid the island players turn into a chicken or beer to battle the chicken look at this we get to fight a big golden chicken and we turn into a chicken or beer, <laughs> beer. yeah or beer we're going to be chicken or beer what game is this, this is, it's lost up it's, yeah. it's happening on the the 19th of um well, potentially, I guess on the 19th, it's coming in. We, it's, it's the uh, update, so I'm just reading through things that are coming in. Um, so you get event coins, the quicker you defeat waves, the enemy, the quicker more chicklings um, will appear, more coins you earn. Wild Wings Island, new... Wild, Wild Wings Island is a new event island where players can participate in co-op quests um, or join it. So another event. So we lose one event. We lose um, the Guardian Raid one, thank God. And... Um, get this because the guardian one I, i'm not a fan of just it's just a bit annoying new guild activities being a guild is less have benefits of guild shop activities are in may okay island siege oh so a pvp guild activity that allows you to battle over combat your ranking will determine how many points this is the gvg stuff then right Earn rewards and perks like gems, accessories, but least is this is this GVG? A PvP guild activity that allows you to battle other guilds in PvP combat. Your ranking will be determined how many points you've earned. Yeah, I think that's GVG. Raid match. Enter a base with your guild and challenge powerful Um This is the stones. Like the guild stones. Samil, Devourer. At uh, once summoned, you have limited time. So this is the GB um GBE. I think that's GVG. Yeah, I think that's I think that's GVG. Yeah, you got bored of the, the Guardian Raid one? Yeah, same. Um, and this is the GB stuff. The faster you kill it, um, you go up in guild rankings. This is just like a time attack. You get your guild and you just go and time attack a boss. Um, if you don't have a guild yet, time to start searching. Skins! Skins! Skins, skins, skins! Nearest wardrobe. Heard players want more skins. We're adding a month from Nearest wardrobe. I don't, do I like these? Skins! I don't know if I like these. I don't know. Questionable. Questionable. <laughs> More skins. Good. More skins. Okay. You guys make up your mind if you like them. Quality of life updates may also introduce a bunch of quality of life changes, including the front and back attack indicators. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Let's be honest. It's better than anything in the game at the moment. <laughs> Oh yeah, you can customize. Yeah, a lot of people requested Nereus. Okay, okay. Not only those, I think Nereus has a lot of other stuff. Oh, perfect, perfect. I'll, leave it. I'll bring it up here while we're chatting. See? More variety, so not everyone has the same stuff on. Yes. No, that's good. I, I, I want more skins. Or whichever you want for casual clothing. Love this update. This is great, right? Okay, this is also good. Back attack indicators. The ability to check daily and weekly content participation in the menu. I'm so unorganized. I need this because I am really bad. I'm like, have I done it on this? Have I wait this one? Have I done? I'm terrible. This is really good. Yeah, let's let's um let's get balance out of the way, shall we? <laughs> let's look, we'll look at balance in a minute. Um, you buy updates, improved party finder and party invites, updated updated loot dismantling. Ooh, okay. Minus vectors for market 
auction house and a few fun features like being able to randomly summon your favorite map. oh yeah um and new hairstyles for customization which is huge i hope we get like free free hairstyle changing stuff you wanted this since launch yeah ma'am yeah man yeah ma'am you've heard my rants before ben yeah <laughs> So, balance tuning and updates, including a recent rework to the Destroyer Advanced class to increase its impact on the battlefield. Smilegate RPG recently released a balance patch on main, many of the advanced classes to tune, update, and further define these classes. Um, these classes' roles on the battlefield will provide more specifics for players unfamiliar with these changes in the release notes. But you can look forward to these changes coming. Holy shit! Fuck! Fuck! We're getting them. We're getting them now. That's massive. Yeah, dude, we're getting the balance patch now. Sork nerf is coming in. Sork nerf. Destroy a nerf. Not destroy. Let's destroy a buff. Sorry. Um, um, surge. Surge. Yeah, damn. Technique buff. Surge blade is being nerfed. I need to go through it again. All. Um, fuck. I didn't realize. We, I thought it was going to be months away. Holy shit, man. Told you we get those balance changes. I knew that we were getting the destroyer one with destroyer, but I didn't know we were getting all those right now. Fucking wow. Now you're forced to watch the video. Yeah, I need to watch that video. Oh, an extra one second on my bard buff. A full one second. Um, is Mayhem still better than, than Technique? I don't know. I don't know. If you if you guys want more info on these, it's better to go and ask like 80k and Saint Tone, for example. Probably Zeals as well. Those guys know more than this. Um, oh Benji, like they've been talking about this with Stoops. Um, Stoops might have some info as well, but it might be hard to get through to Stoops because his chat does this. Right, it's hard. It's hard to get a question to him. Um, but yeah, I I haven't with a fine tooth comb gone through the balance packs patch changes because i thought they were miles off sork nerf coming in right time, time to go, go. what answer mate <laughs> fuck i can't believe we're getting the changes now looking ahead we're excited for the new activities coming in may seeing players attend the, the first legion raid to mean more end game content and watching the guild versus guild action ramp up we know that players are always curious what's on the horizon now we have um now that we've locked in a Volton and Descaluda and more endgame content for May, we'll be taking a look at the roadmap for summer and share a glance later this month for our plans. Oh perfect. This is good. And always we'll continue monitoring player data and feedback. We appreciate you. So let's try it. Let's try and TLDR this, alright? The TLDR for this is that we have confirmed hard mode and normal mode for Volton. Um, I think it's coming on the 19th because that's when this Guardian raid, um, this Guardian, the Guardian raid event that's in now cancels, right? Like that's, it's been extended there. So I would assume this is coming on the 19th. It doesn't actually say, does it? Um, then we have Descaluda, which is the next Guardian raid. It has a chance to drop relic accessories pretty consistently. So it's really good. Destroy is coming with balance changes. Okay, we've got the challenge guardian raids coming up, which are good. They're fun. They're not difficult, and you get um, you get more materials and things. So th this is really positive. Re this is this is this is fun. This is good content, right? We've got new quests and open world activities. We've got the chicken and beer event, which sounds amazing, right? Players turn into a chicken or beer and battle the chickling, <laughs> the, ch the chick, the chick king, chick king, a boss to earn event event coins. So we've got another event there. We have a GVG coming. GVG, GVE. We've got the Nereus wardrobe. Huge. So amazing. As I said, you guys are after this, which is amazing. Quality of life. We've got this. This is such a big update. Holy fuck. Right, including the back. There we go. Back and front attack indicators. The ability to check weekly and daily content participation in a new menu. UI updates, up increased. Uh, no, sorry, improved party finder. Um, and party invites updated loot dismantling convenience features for the the auction house a few fun features like your being able to summon mount you basically you, with that you press a button and mounts that you've like favorited or something when you press the button it'll just summon one one at random so you can you can do a few if, if you like quite a few and it'll just like cycle through whatever at randomly and then we've got the balance balance updates which is which is mega there, there's a fucking lot coming. This is a massive patch. 
and I can't wait for it. Time to go to it's time to find a good preset for my sorg. The new hairstyles come in. Yeah, this is huge. This is huge. This is really good. Really positive change. Really positive change. I'm really happy about this. 